Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 setups for today. So I uh, do hope you got in on that trade yesterday. Uh, we're just short of uh, the first target, and uh, remember the target is right here. That is, sorry, there's the first target there, this pin bar here, and then your second target is obviously this tail here. So this is the zone that I would expect some buyers to come in, uh, drive the price up again, but then there should be a second attempt to come and tag these areas. So when we look at it on the eight hour, you can see this week has been pretty much one way traffic. Uh, sort of, uh, when was this? Uh, before yesterday, we were just hovering around here and uh, we've basically plummeted through the bottom of, uh, sorry, wrong line. We've plummeted through the bottom of the, the channel here, as you can see. And there was the retest of that break. So um, short it is, we're definitely in a downward trend, but we are going parabolic, as you can see. So nice uh, structured move through last week and uh, the start of this week, and then eventually finding support here, breaking through, coming back, retest, and then move to the downside. So. Uh, you can just draw your line like that. You can see we're parabolic. Moving averages are separating quite far apart. And uh, oscillators group to the downside. So there should be some kind of a bounce. And the question is, a bounce to where? So I'm just going to put that level in there. That would make the most sense. Um, and that is at 43.96, so 44.00 as well would come into play. Looking at the oscillators, nothing really standing out at the moment. And uh, you can see we were talking about a swing high. And we basically came back into this area here. So there's your, your structure from yesterday. Uh, not exact. But nevertheless, it was it was a decent break. So, was a break of the of the channel, came back to test it straight in that area there, and uh, pretty much that would have been your entry right there. So, nice 120 point risk uh, for a second entry, and uh, pretty much gave us a measured move. And the measured move was right here. So if you go from there to there. And then take the swing high, you can see there's a measured move there. Okay, so what are we looking for today? It is the end of the week, so could be a bit of profit taking um, or alternatively some more downside. So preferably I would like to see us get back to 43.96 for an opportunity to short. And we are targeting, first level to target is right here, 43.56. 5.8, somewhere around there, and second level would be 43.27. So there's definitely going to be buyers coming in either on these levels or in between these levels. So whatever short we're holding on to, uh, we need to wait for the pullback, get in, and then you can at least protect capital. You sort of move the stop down. So that's kind of my view for today. I don't see anything else that's really going to stand out you can see even on the five minute there's not much structure here this is a pretty rapid move to the downside uh, nothing really in it at the moment so yeah so that's kind of the setup for today i think uh, if we just finish off on the weekly quickly that's a fairly strong weekly bar you can see crossover and uh we look left there's definitely a lot of potential for buyers to come in here weekly the trend is still up so this could be seen as a pullback from the weekly perspective and uh, this flag target is pretty much in this area as well so uh, protect your capital be very 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 careful of jumping in short at the moment uh, if your short was entry was way up there uh, you should actually be looking to either be taking profit now or alternatively uh, sort of move your stop down, protect capital, and uh, see what happens next. So that's kind of my view for today. Um, if we do get pullback up to here, yeah, there's an opportunity for a short. 
but um, if we just go sideways and continue drifting down there's not going to be much opportunity down here we're too close to uh, potential profit taking areas okay so anyway that's it for me today i hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you next week uh cheers for now